Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Copper Coins Coin Roll Hunt Reveal E243, a 1960D large date California bank roll. How's everybody doing today? Hope all is well. It's getting warm down here at Copper Coin South. Get the chip out for today. Oh, forgot to put that one in again. Wow. And it is coin 40. We are going to wait for a couple of viewers to get in and we will get things going. Hopefully this rolls as good as the last couple rolls we've had. There we got people starting to trickle in now. Here we go. We've got five, got seven. So we will get things going. I want to thank everybody for joining me. And there go the likes. Excellent. And this wrapper says California Bank Head Office. look pretty good from the edge Paul Adams welcome Ant, welcome to the show and Mark Thomas is the first coin in the roll Oh, Darren, look at that. Hope that's a sign of things to come. I think that's an RPM 23. Let me look. Just to double check. Pretty certain it is. And it is. It looks to be a mid-die state. Yep, it is. So we've got a good one starting for Mark. Chip is number 40. Yeah, let me move it over a little bit. So hopefully we find a bunch of these in this roll. That would be great. Coin number two for Jordan. And Jordan has a normal obverse on the second coin in the roll. Decent looking coin. Let me write that it's 23, 1 mm, 23. Do have a reveal show for this evening. I'm going to have a 64D, a 55S, 45P, and a 60D roll. slowly working on my house it's been a project getting a lot done just about done painting now 
should be done painting by tomorrow. Let me put this over here. Then we'll get the floors put in Saturday. I think after this week I'm going to take a few weeks off of 60 D rolls after this next one this week. I've got about six or seven different rolls that I haven't we haven't went through yet. Hey Jonathan. Uh, but I'm kind of getting tired of 60 D rolls. So we'll do something else for a few weeks after this week coming up. Nice little die crack. Coin number six is for Carl. I thought for a second we had one, but it was just a little ding. I saw this little squaring of the bottom corner and that's usually a sign of an RPM. Coin number seven goes to Sissy. the first two rolls we had uh, this week I was really depressed two duds I mean dud duds not one usually you get something oh, got to look at the reverse on this but the last two rolls didn't disappoint so if you haven't had a chance to look at the 57s and 53 or 57 D and 50 or 53 s definitely go back and take a peek at those reveals there's one you can see it well, here let's on the little upper hoop right in here and then there should be split serifs when we turn it and there is so let's see if we can find something two shows did you find anything good aunt I haven't did a show in a while I'm kind of looking forward to getting to another one Don't see it so far. All right, let's see. This could be 1MM231. Well, 
let me go back I think it is, but it's a different die state. Let me go through a couple more here. It is, in fact, 1MM211, and I think 231 might be 211. So we will go ahead and mark that for crispy. Ness, welcome to the show. And that's what we want, Ness. We want people to watch and uh, uh, learn everything they can. Nice, nice. Keep collecting. Got 12 people watching and only 5 likes. Smash that like button, everybody. Looks like we've got a little bit of a struck through. Plus, it looks like we've got some little streaks of zinc or tin in the alloy also. Coin number 10 goes to Stan. After this coin, we won't be looking at the reverses unless I see something that I just don't recognize. I do look at them a second time in the morning. Coin number 11 goes to Wanda. Do have a reveal sale at 7 o'clock tonight. I think it's just me selling reveals again. And there is another one of our RPMs. I'm going to look and see the reverse. Let's see if we got any markers on the reverse here. And 
and there it is there's one there's another well that's all of them so it has all the markers of two eleven coin number 13 for Carl Oh, he's doing good. He's going to have an auction tomorrow, and I do believe he's supposed to be getting these reveals that he's got left done. He just doesn't want to sell anymore, I don't think, until he gets them done. Uh, but he's doing pretty good. Uh, he saw the eclipse. Uh, and he's been getting stuff ready for auction. He He has been filling out lists and doing stuff like that. Next coin is for Tyler. Getting repeat die pairs in here now. Next, the glass that I recommend to look through is either a Bausch & Lomb 10X or a uh, Balomo. 10x. An ant gets an RPM, and this is a different one. Let's see what we got here. See if we get anything listed like this. Not on that one. Too far north, too far north. Let me see. This is one M M. 226 a little later die state so let me back out turn it and get adjusted to our normal there's that those die scratches are about worn away let me look on the reverse It is for sure 226. So we have a copy of 1MM226. Five to seven. Oh, nice. All right. Any interesting varieties? I do almost got the sheets. Uh, if you notice, the website is getting caught up. I think I'm down to under 15 left to go now.
been quite a few of this die pair. Coin 17 for Jordan. And that will be a 1MM 226. Yeah, that shows the die scratch a little better. The one had a carbon spot. Yep, yeah, most definitely. All right. So our second copy of that. Oh, nice. Uh, you know, I just did. I just listed two '89 class sixes today. Forty-five class sixes. There's quite a few of them. There's some nice ones. I always like uh, attributing the Denver mint or San Francisco mint double dice because they're. The mint mark is just a great marker. A lot of the Class 6 double dies, I assume that a few of them are duplicate listings, but there's no way to to make them, uh, to get them together. Yeah, you can get those uh, 10x. You use a 5x, or do you use a uh, 10x triplet or a 7x? A 5x loop. That's not enough to see a lot of this stuff. Really? There is another 1mm226. I know that JT Stanton used to always say that. All the cherry pickers varieties had to be easily visible through a 7x loop. That was his threshold. And like mine, I have to be able to see them through a 10x loop. Oh, another one. All right. So we've got two in a row. Jackalope gets a 1MM226. Next coin is for Dan. And Dan gets a different RPM altogether. some more light on this let's see if we can figure this one out it's got a pretty good lower split serif so if it's listed it should be easy to find That's too far north. Could be that one. Let me 
me see what we have. So I have to die crack there, so that. Yeah, it's not this one. I got a little dog needs enter entering the room. Come on, hurry it up. You coming too? No troublemaking or fighting in here. I'm talking to the dogs. All right. Two, let me look at this. Two far south. Almost through. So this might one be possibly not listed. That one. Okay, looks like I'm going to have to do some more research on this one. Wait, what do we got here? Nope. I don't see this one so I'm gonna to have to put it aside let's get our soaps scope set back up and this we'll hold this out in the mystery pile coin 23 for Richard Comic Hunter, how are you doing today? Coin 24, almost to the halfway point, is for Farm Dog. Next coin is for Otis. Coin twenty six for Crispy. Yep, our rolls tonight are going to be a 64D. This is 
one mm two twenty six, and it is. We will do a recap when we're done here because we're getting quite a few variety coins. Coin twenty seven for Parvis. And this is a 221. And it is. And I think that the more I look at that, I think that is 231 also. Coin 29 for Wanda. This is another one, I believe, like the one Dan had. Let me double check, see if there's a marker on here. So I can confirm that. Where's my glass at? Oh, there it is. All right, let's look at the reverse. And it is the same as the one Dan is, so that's good. We have multiple examples of that, which will make it easier to diagnose. Having multiple copies always is helpful. not one thing it's another that's for sure mom's cooking dinner and Peta and Matilda have to go and check it out or as we call Matilda Tilly for short Coin 32 for Ant. Next coin up. Oh, it's for me. See what I get. And a lot of these from this die pair. A little struck through under that B. Coin 34 for Mark.
and a normal coin for Jordan. Anybody have any good finds on the weekend besides Ant? I didn't search get to search any coins. My wife's had me doing the honeydew stuff, so it's probably gonna be a couple weeks till I search the coins for me. The good thing is, is I get to search coins for you. So that kind of fills the uh, the need. Coin 37 for Doug. Decent 43 war nickel. Hey, Namaste, how are you doing? All right. That is one of my favorite coins. Uh, when I go to shows, I look at a lot of war nickels. I have been trying to look at a lot of Mercury Dimes uh, lately also. I think from a design standpoint, the Mercury Dime is my second favorite after the Lincoln Scent. Going 39 for Crispy. Hi, you got to do what you got to do. Make that money while you can. Coin 40 and the winner of the giveaway is Sissy. Congratulations, Sissy. Oh, I've remembered three in a row. What is happening? Right, see what we get for Sissy. And Sissy gets a 226. Yep, there's the die scratch through the Y. So verified. Next coin for Stan. Hopefully I will have packages starting to go out Thursday. Well, there you go. That That's good. That works. Next coin is for Paul Hampton. Yeah, I've had to curtail buying stuff. Of course, I haven't had anybody call me lately uh, with stuff to buy. Which is good because a couple months ago they were I got a lot of phone calls. I hadn't I hadn't bought that many much stuff in in a long time. I think in the month of uh, February I think I bought two thousand rolls, which is probably more than I bought all last year. That might be something. Let me look and see if we've got, I think we've got that listed. I think I just saw that. So let me whip through and look for the fat tailed ones. It's 
not that one. There's like three or four that are real fat at the base like this, and it just seems like I have saw this one. When I'm talking about fat, I'm talking about right there, and it just seems like there's a little bit. And that one is too far to the east. don't see it. So maybe I was wrong. Go through a couple more pages. I am going to hold it aside to do more looking because it is interesting. hit it with my loop and see what I see. All right, coin 45 for Wanda. And Wanda gets a 226. Steve Allen. Uh, this microscope is an AMScope with an 18 megapixel AMScope camera on it. Uh, so the model is M MU1803. I think it's about a $350 camera that goes into the either the one one of the eye holes or the trinocular hole. Coin 46 goes to Ant. It's got a hit right on the top of the mint mark. Almost looked like something there for a second. It's got a hit right there. Look at that. That top one might be piece of the yeah that's that's a heck of a hit coin 47 well, you gotta start somewhere my advice is when you start searching don't get rid of the pennies right away and research them after you really get your uh, vision and you know your tools fine-tuned I know I searched roles that I had searched 25 years ago and I still had them in a box and I missed almost every double die that was in there. I was good with the RPMs, but I, I did not could not get double dies that well at all. Hey Tyler. Not a bad roll so far. Fair one RPM twenty-three and a fair amount of other 
a bunch of 226s and a bunch of or a couple 211s and then three that are unidentified don't forget we do have the RPM reveal show tonight selling spots in these reveals and the final coin of the roll is the same one that Tyler just got I'm gonna to have to look into this and see what we have here if it is anything but it looks like an RPM to me um usually between a dollar fifty and like this week is sixty four two dollars fifty five s is two seventy five 45p is going to be five dollars and the 60d is 250 68 nice you'll, you'll, you'll never run out uh, 36 I don't think I think I have 36 let me look at that one on my sheet All right, let's see what we got. 60D 1MM36. All right, it shows that I have a few of those. Yep, yep. I, all of them in the late 20s through the 30s, I think, are D over D East. I did like the way that they reclass when they reclassified it. They tried to do all the, the big ones first, and then East, and then North, and South. It does help. But anyways, I am going to get off here, and I'm going to grab a bite to eat real quick, and I will be back in 55 minutes at the reveal show selling spots for next week's reveals but here let's do a recap on this real quick the 226 is we have one two three four five six seven and they are for jackalope jordan ant sissy crispy sissy and wanda the 211 is for stan paul and crispy and the rpm 23 is for mark thomas in the unidentified, we have two that are different unidentified. One is has two copies, Wanda and Dan, and the other one is me and Tyler. So I want to thank everybody for joining me. Can I tell me uh, what's the one mm? Oh, one m. If you go to coppercoins.com and in the year guide you pick 1960 Denver. 1 mm 1 is the denomination mm is it's a mint mark variety and 36 is the number of the listing and i think right now we are from 1 to 260 in uh 60 d's so if you get to looking for rpms and stuff it's a way to to catalog your collection anyways I am off. Hit that like button on the way out, guys, and I will talk to you all in about 50 minutes. We'll see you soon. Bye.